This is a basic demonstration of how you can remotely control an HLDS or Half-Life dedicated server directly from your console without the need for a second computer or the use of a remote control program such as HLSW. In this specific case, I will be doing this on a server for the game Counter-Strike Condition Zero. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating basic remote control commands that you can issue through your console. Before we get started, you will need the following things. Permission from the server owner or clan leader to initiate commands, and the remote control password or Archon password that is set for your server. You can get this password from the server owner or your clan leader. This password is hard coded into the configuration file, so you can't change it from within the remote control access. If you're a server owner, you don't have to worry about this getting changed without your knowing, but you still want to be cautious about who you give this password to because anyone with access to it can control your server remotely regardless if they are connected to it in the game or not. The first thing we want to do is connect to a server. From the game menu, go to your server list and find your server in the list, like this. Connect to the server and load it, let it load up. Once you're in the server, you want to open the console by pressing the tilde key, which is the key located directly to the left of the number one key on the top of your keyboard. Next, you will need to enter the Archon password like this. Entering the Archon password tells the server that you are authorized to control it remotely. You will only need to do this once at the beginning of your connection session as the server will remember your computer until you physically disconnect from the server or the Archon password has been changed. Now I'm going to demonstrate each of the command operations and you'll see what happens on the server as each are done. Each of the server commands you use while controlling the server remotely must begin with the prefix RCON and a space. The commands you will most likely use are change level, which when followed by a specific map name will change that map immediately after the command is issued, SV password, which will allow you to issue a temporary change to the server's entry password, temporary because as soon as the server is physically restarted or the main configuration file is executed, the password will revert back to the one coded in the server's main configuration. Bot add, bot quota, and bot kick, which are the basic add and remove commands for use with bots. SV restart 1, which will simply restart the rounds, map timer, and scoreboard for the current map at the time the command is issued. Execute, or EXEC, which will allow you to execute a specific server configuration in order to start league matches, league specific overtime sessions, etc. I will demonstrate the commands I just mentioned a total of two times each so you can familiarize yourself with the correct syntax for each command. First up is change level. I'm changing the map to CS underscore assault. Now I will change the map to DE underscore dust2 underscore CZ. Next is SV password. Here I am changing the password to testing. Now I'm changing the password to Scrabble. Next we have bot add. Using this basic bot command I am adding a single bot to the server. Now by issuing the command again I am adding a second bot to the server.
Next up is bot quota. By using this command plus a number, I am setting the number of total bots on the server to that number. We'll start with six. Now I will use the same command with a lower number, four. This will remove two bots from the server to make the bot quota four instead of six. The next command is bot kick. This command is used to remove all bots from the server completely. I'm going to place some more bots onto the server so you can see the kick command in action once again. There are now nine bots. And now they are all removed with the bot kick command. SV Restart 1. This symbol command is used when you need to reset all the counters for the current map and start the score with zero again. As you can see, the map is restarting. See how it restarts again when I reissue the command? Our final command is EXEC or execute. I will enter this command three times. You will need to know the name of the config file that you intend to execute as well as its extension. I'm going to execute the official Online Gaming League's 5 vs 5 match configuration. The file name is oglcz.cfg. Now that the configuration has been fully executed, I will now execute the OGL 5v5 overtime configuration for use in, use in the event of a match tie. That file name is oglot.cfg. Lastly, I am now going to return the server to its, com its default configuration, which you will want to do after a match is completely over, or just to return all the settings back to their original values. That file name is server.cfg, or server.cfg. This concludes this tutorial. If you have any further questions, please contact your team leader, clan leader, or server owner. Okay.